and welcome back to Crypto Hulk Show. I had to start the show over because YT decided to disconnect the chat. Yes, absolutely love it. They saw the title. Oh, and they got all kinds of, you know, booty hurt. But uh, Jared was the first. Welcome, Jared. Got a great show lined up today. Pretty unbelievable. <clears throat> Two articles we're going to go over first. One, Swift. You know how all the other channels, you know, the XRP hater channels and stuff? <clears throat> oh, Swift is going to be taken away. The quantum financials. Remember all that dumb shit? The quantum financial dumb shit? But how Swift's going to be taken down. Wow. How sad. These people believe this shit. Aliens are going to come down. <sighs> you know. All the bad people are going to be put in Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. Like, all that dumb shit. People are believing all that shit with the lobster wallet shit. <clears throat> oh, the BRICS. Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa. They're going to take over the world. <laughs> God. Okay. All right. That's the first article. <sighs> Hello, Irisha Kugumukariza. Welcome to the show, buddy. Sorry, I can't pronounce your Irisha Kugumukariza. I tried. Then we got Sagalina D. Welcome to the channel. Joseph Balloon. Hello from Germany. XRP Roofer. Yeah, they're messing with the channel, huh? They're messing with the sound. They know. I've heard that, too. They'll do stuff with the sound, everything with this channel. They don't want you to know what I have to show. Travis Leap says, sounds clear. Some people... We'll have the product. Some people get <clears throat> unnotified, these kinds of things. <clears throat> Steve Rose. Hello. Yes, they're messing with everything. Let's see. Florida. Jerry White's from Florida. Uh, no comment. I wish Florida didn't have the hurricanes. It would be a place I would consider moving to. It used to be cheap. Like 10 years ago, Florida was like hella cheap to live. Now you got like super expensive housing <clears throat> and the hurricanes and good luck getting insurance on your place. I mean, it's just <clears> – so Florida's off my list. Morocco, Mr. Mister. <clears throat> is from Morocco. I see Eric Bartowski here. Let's see what we got here. Robert GZO. Hey, Robert Bob Bobby. What does Robert have to say? God bless you, Hulk. Best knowledge in the world on your shows. I try to, honestly, I try to make the best show to teach people. If they want to listen, great. You know, if you don't want to, that's fine. <coughs> I tried to help <coughs> uh, some people that I kind of know. They, they have very low IQ. Now, my IQ is normal. My IQ is average. But these people have, like, knuckle dragger, heavy mouth breathing. And I showed them the article about, you know, China Bank. And D money, and then D money's a ripple partner, and they're like, "Oh, that happened four years ago," and I'm like, "Wow!" And then when I showed them, well, actually, D money is four years ago with Ripple, but the South China Bank partnership with D money, that's three months ago. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Well, it's still sixty three cents. I'm just like, well, <clears throat> these are the same people. That Jesus could literally come back and they'll be like, oh, I don't believe it. Uh, 
Uh, you're an imposter. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> Sandy Simpson, the snorting sounds disgusting. Ah, really? Well, we have a cure for that, Sandy. It's called reporting you as terrorism. That's what. That's how I can help you. Boom, already done. Have a nice life. You just lost your show. You just lost your channel there, dummy. <laughs> All right. Carpathian Eagle, no notification, Mr. Hulk. YT forgot. All right, then. I want to show you some amazing stuff. Okay, here's the deal with, like, crypto and stuff. Um, people that are brand new, I'm, I'm going to teach you. Cause you. You've been watching some of you guys, some, and very, very few. I've been watching these other channels, and um, what we got going on here <clears throat> is we don't have, okay, you got to have two things, at least. Hold on. Some people just look at how much something costs. You got to look at fundamentals, and understand the fact now, we don't have global crypto regulations, correct? Correct. Some countries might have regulations, other countries don't. That's kind of like, it ain't going to work. Because in order to trade with everybody, you all got to have the same kind of money or the same kind of payment system like SWIFT. And then Drew Smith comes up. What does Drew Smith have to say? Powers of darkness shake when Crypto Hulk and we all get together. Blessings to all. Um, two things I just want you to know. <clears throat> Brand new people real quick. Global crypto regulations. Everybody's got to have them. So number one, we don't have a crypto market. Wait a second. Oh, good job. Oh, late, late Easter fee by Stuart Lavelle. Hoo-wee. Yeah. Maybe Easter can come a lot later every year. <laughs> Welcome back, Stuart LaBelle. Amazing. These people are something else. Um, wow. Stu dropped an egg. Oh, that's a that's an Easter egg gift for Crypto Hulk. <laughs> Man, never ceases to amaze me. Um, let me try to concentrate here. I'm just kind of. I got like I'm a boxer. I just got phased. I got to kind of get my composure back here, <clears throat> so I can teach the masses what I discovered or what I found out or what I was given. Sometimes I am given information um, by real people, and sometimes other ETs. Um, two things: we need to be rich. Global crypto regs. Brand new people. Look, forget about the price. When you don't have global crypto regulations, you don't have a crypto market. So whatever prices you have, whatever prices you have now are speculative. Got it? That's what we got. <clears throat> prices do not mean anything. People that focus on price do not mean anything. Um, do you get that? Because I, I could break that down again. When we don't have global rules, okay, it's like a free-for-all. There's no governing bodies, nothing's regulated, this and that. <clears throat> Whatever price you have doesn't mean anything. It's all speculative. You got it? Whether price is high or low, it doesn't mean anything. Just because you go to, like, Saks Fifth Avenue and pay $800 for a pair of shoes. Are those shoes really worth 800 bucks? Well, to the people that think it does, it does. But in reality, it's made by the same factories in China. And they just slap a different label on it and charge you 800 bucks. Got it? So <clears throat> that's what crypto is now. If you're in a crypto, that's $800 pair of shoes when they're really worth maybe about, I think, what does it cost to make them? Like 15 bucks? So <clears throat> you're wearing a $15 pair of shoes that people charge 800 for. So you're in a crypto like Bitcoin, it's 60,000 for one or Ethereum, it's 3,000 for one. But do we really have a market? No, we don't have a market. 
We have speculative priced crypto space. That's what we have. And, and some people that are low IQ, um, they don't understand that. <clears throat> they don't know that we have to have global crypto regs. And then for a crypto to really have value, number one, it has to do something. It has to really, really do something. And those two cryptos that are really high in price now, they really can't do anything. But more importantly is they're going to have to be backed. They've got to be backed with gold, silver, and all that stuff. And that's where the XRP comes in as a stable coin. I didn't say it. <clears throat> the World Bank said that XRP is a stable coin. See, it's not Crypto Hulk's opinion. I don't have to convince people of stuff. I just show facts. You don't have to believe the facts. That's fine. Truly sad. But that's how this stuff goes. And what's going on now is Stuart gave 10 people memberships. Let's see. I got to go to work really quick here. <clears throat> Travis Leach, Justin Bordessa, Christopher Kuhn, Mateo, Raider 2000 Crypto and Forex, Freddie Lozano. Tony Grieco, Sean Harris, and EB, along with Wit1123, got memberships from Stuart. Well, looks like the recruitment door office is halfway open. Somebody snuck in early at, what time is this? 6.30 a.m. California time. Then you got Robert Driscoll gave TPCOM membership now let's get into <clears throat> the main event where are we at here now let me find these articles you gotta love it let's start with the china bank and the d money d's nuts <clears throat> china bank let me <clears throat> Let me do a copy paste. Oh man. Here we go, everybody. Let's see. All right, I'm going to show you guys something. <clears throat> Again. China Bank expands RippleNet. Oh, let me go. <clears throat> Sometimes YouTube doesn't post stuff. And um, I'm going to put it on my community channel. Because YT has a way of not wanting you guys to see stuff on my live chat. So I have had to get around their stupid fucked up practices. Amateur night, YT. Okay, so if you go to my community page, <clears throat> you're going to see all the posts that I do today. China Bank expands RippleNet partners with D Money. <clears throat> That's D-E-E-M-O-N-E-Y. It's from Thailand. It's a payments company, and China Bank's involved. They're partners now. This news here, three months old, okay? This was given to me. It was somebody that I know went to China Bank's website and just said, oh, shit, look at this. No other YouTuber, no other nobody posted this, okay? <clears throat> so I'll be the first one to do it because you're special and Crypto Hulk wants me to be rich. So I'll be the first one showing this because I got great people that are in the Crypto Hulk network that hooked me up with this article. China Bank. <clears throat> China Bank continues to broaden its global remittance tie-ups to serve Filipinos anywhere in the world. Connecting via the RippleNet platform, the bank partnered with D Money, Thailand's leading fintech money service and Ripple partner, by the way, 
to facilitate fast and convenient remittance from Thailand to the Philippines. <coughs> the partnership with D Money, <coughs> with its specialized expertise in international money transfers, enables China Bank to offer online and real time remittance service through D Money app. Overseas, Filipinos can choose from different modes when sending money through the D Money app. Credit to a China Bank account, credit to other Philippine bank accounts, credit to e wallets. Are you seeing me? Here's how they're doing this. I want you to see what's going on. <coughs> they're getting all of this set up. E electronic wallets. Here we go, such as Gcash and Maya. So D Money already has e wallets. And it's an application they call Gcash or Maya. And there's cash pickup from any branch of China Bank or its domestic remittance partners, ML Hulier, Cebuana, LH Hulier, LBC, and Palawan Express. <coughs> remittance through D money is sent and received in real time. However, credit to bank account transactions in excess of 50,000 pesos will be available the next banking day. Ripple net. Oh, looky here. <coughs> I want you to see what's going on. The crypto hulk. The knuckle draggers and heavy mouth breathers say, "The crypto Hulk. The price is still sixty-two cents. Oh, I outsmarted crypto Hulk. Oh, I did. I'm the king." That's what these people say. They they really think this way. I'm telling you. <coughs> RippleNet is a globally recognized cross-border. Notice how they're not saying Ethereum. Why not? Why not? Bi why not Bitcoin? Why are they not using Bitcoin? Why is China Bank, <coughs> if you know anything about Bitcoin, it was like first mined in China. So naturally, you'd think that, wouldn't they use Bitcoin? No, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you're fucked up. But my channel is designed to get you unfucked, just to let you know. Um, but Crypto Hulk. <coughs> Wasn't Ethereum and all this stuff mixed up with China in the early days and stuff? Oh, yeah, yeah. But why why aren't they using Ethereum here, Crypto Hulk? Because it's fucked up. That's why. That's why they're talking about RippleNet. Not Ethereum. Not the Ethereum project. Yeah. <coughs> Got it? RippleNet is what they're talking about here is a globally recognized cross-border payment solution. It's a solution. Ethereum's the problem, okay? Uh, it's using blockchain technology. Aside from D-Money, China's bank remittance partner with Qatar National Bank, the largest financial institution in the Middle East and Africa, <coughs> and <clears throat> mobile money in Malaysia, all of those are on board with RippleNet as well. It says right here, the Qatar National Bank, the largest financial institution in the Middle East and Africa, are also on board via RippleNet. Notice it's not Ethereum, it's not Bitcoin. The heavy mouth breathing knuckle draggers, <clears throat> they just can't handle this. All they can say, is the price. That's all they can say. And uh, it's going to be a great day when we actually have global regulations and projects that, well, they're going to find out real quick which cryptos only cost almost nothing to send. Most places won't charge probably barely anything at all for a transaction. <clears throat> We're about to find out. Now, D-Money. Just real briefly here, show you an article. Let me, let me put the article here. 
<clears throat> and then I'll send it to my um, community page. Right here. Okay. D Monet. Ripple strengthens the presence in Asia with fintech D money. Now this was four years ago. Okay. This is how long they've been working on stuff. <coughs> Blockchain solutions leader Ripple continues to strengthen its expansion into the Asia market through partnership with Thailand fintech company called D Money. I'm going to leave it at that. <coughs> um, now, to show you the date of the China Bank article, here's another one to show you. It's three months old, not four years. Some people are really kind of slow mentally, and they think that this shit happened four years ago. Why are you reading four-year-old news? Ha, ha, ha. I've outsmarted crypto health. No, you haven't. You just, you're low IQ, and you think you outsmarted me, but you didn't. <coughs> so China Bank partners with Thailand's D-Money, and that was December 28th, 2023. So about three months ago. Not four years, dummy. Okay. Let's see, see some comments here. Oh. <coughs> Stuart Lavelle gave 10 people memberships. Jordan James is one. Harry Hodler Noltz. Let's we'll call him Harry. Lou Gotti. Say hi to John for me. X Gunge. <coughs> Dr. Patriot, Giles, Hold the Line, Billy Banks. How's that boxing thing going? Staying fit with that program? Um, we're all mad here. <coughs> Those people got memberships from Stuart Lavelle. It's one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm counting nine. Hmm. Maybe there's ten. Um... Last Chance says, so sick of the show restarting over and over. <clears throat> These are things they don't want you to see this show. They're, they're, this platform, YT, is trying to do everything to keep you poor. You have to hang in there and keep going. Rob, <coughs> Rob gave somebody a membership, and it was Jameson Lehman. Welcome, Jameson. Wait a second. Oh, my God. Okay, what the hell's going on? Stuart Lavelle, I, along with, I believe, everyone here, thanks for your hard work. Much appreciated, bro. It's crazy, huh? These people do this stuff. I mean, whoa. That's really, I've never, yeah, this is really something else. <clears throat> um, yeah, like, w when these people do this kind of stuff, like, giving away memberships, because, like, these people know. I'm not getting into people's business on this show. Obviously, people like this are in business, and they know stuff, and, um, they're trying to share with you so you keep learning. <clears throat> because I'm telling you, when this thing goes, like, I'll, my show will be different. It's not going to, like, we're not going to be sitting around here <clears throat> waiting to see a $1 XRP. This show will be like, we're all super rich. You know, some people might have a million bucks. Some people might have 500 million. Some people are going to have a billion. Five, ten billion, twenty, thirty billion dollars. <clears throat> then it'll be Crypto Hulk. Now that we're rich, uh, what do we do next? 
So that's when the show, I'll branch the show into wealth management. <coughs> we'll have people on the show that are lawyers, international business, and we'll start figuring out where to go for citizenships and how to, that the show will be completely different. Once all this thing takes off, right now, everything is being set up. All the countries have to get hooked up. And, and at the very, very end, <clears throat> that's when we get crypto regulations. So you're seeing these things where China Bank is, you know, hooking up with D-Money in Thailand. And then they're talking about RippleNet and the article and all that. Like, it's all being set up right in front of us. And some people are so blind. All they care about is price. The only thing is price. You're going to miss it. <clears throat> you're not going to see this coming. It's kind of like in boxing. You can't watch the hands because the hand's quicker than the eye. Didn't you learn that as a little kid with magic trick when they do the stuff with the card and everything? That's why magic's so fun to watch is because the hand is quicker than the eye. And like in boxing, you know you're going to get punched if you watch the boxer's foot and hip movements in place because that comes first. You know how they position their foot on the canvas and how they shift their hips, that tells you what's coming. But these people, all they do is they look at the gloves. They're going to get knocked out. <coughs> oh, oh, my <coughs> gosh. Stuart Lavelle, Thailand. Thailand. Stuart Lavelle, you've outdone yourself. This is... Uh, that's something else. Amazing. I mean, <clears throat> they're trying to show you brand new people, like, just appreciate the memberships. What I want you to do, a lot of people got memberships. <clears throat> I've had a lot of cancellations. And what I want you to do is go into your account and set it up so the membership doesn't expire. I got so many people it says rejoin, rejoin. Your the membership's expired. Don't let them expire, all right? My channel gives you so much information more than any other channel <clears throat> that it's a shame when it expires. Well, you got the free membership here. Log in to your account get my membership. You're not charged till after the 30 days is over. And even then you can go into two weeks and still cancel. I mean, <clears throat> that's how uh, YouTube is and stuff. It's fine. Let's go to the next article. I'm going to show you. See, these other channels aren't showing you these things. Let me click out of that one. <clears throat> Here we go with Swift. Here we go. Next article. This is massive right here. Remember all the people talking about how Swift's going to be replaced by the quantum financial? How sad. <coughs> Dennis, Thailand visa fee going to deep dive D-Money, XRP, XTC, in Bangkok. GF works for a freight shipper. Oh. Interesting. <coughs> Rob Lester says other channels just clickbait. <clears throat> this is the real deal. Yes, it is. No channel like Crypto Hulk. All right. Let's go with Swift. Swift's ready to launch CBDC. I had no idea. See what I'm saying? <clears throat> These people, like you can't predict stuff. <clears throat> I mean, we could be rich tomorrow. That's how this thing goes. I'm planning, I said about eight months ago, 
springtime. Okay. That was my prediction. I said, uh, somewhere around spring. Somebody asked me a long time ago, probably eight months ago or more. <coughs> Crypto Hulk, when do you think this will take off? I'm like, spring. And if we look down here, <coughs> Swift ready to launch a CBDC and challenge the BRICS currency. Oh, well, what about all the people that said BRICS are taking over? Remember that? Oh, really? These people are high. <coughs> the global bank messaging system Swift is planning to launch a new central bank digital currency. Oh, really? Well, isn't this something? Um, the SWIFT CBDC is a significant development in the changing financial landscape that's looking to uproot the U.S. dollar's hedge money. <clears throat> the new digital system is currently in the nascent stage, that means brand new, and could be launched <clears throat> in the next 12 to 24 months. Well, 12 months would put us next spring. That's what Crypto Hulk predicted in 2025 spring. Notice how everything's coming up spring 2025. Just showing you, not that I'm a predictor, but I'm just showing you the articles here. You think it's really going to take two years for Swift? Swift's coming out with a central bank digital currency. Are you, are you kidding me? <coughs> Who never thought of that? <coughs> I didn't know. Swift, would, I thought Swift, remember what everybody says? But Swift is just messaging, right? That's what they are telling us. <coughs> Remember, Swift is just messaging. Swift's ready to launch a central bank digital currency, but Swift is just messaging. You see how stuff changes? You don't know what these people are going to do. <coughs> it goes against, like, you cannot, you're not going to know. Okay, you're not going to know how this goes. You're not going to know when this happens. Okay, this is what I'm trying to show you. You cannot predict stuff. None of us are smart like this. They're, they're making plans and changing them as we go. Like you have no idea in the end how this goes, really. What you have to do is be ready. That's what my channel is, getting you ready mentally. <coughs> Getting you mentally ready, because we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know when. You get your XRP, XDC, and XLM. Those are your top three. You can get other ones, too. <coughs> but make sure you got, like, 60% of your crypto in those three, 20% 2020. That's 60. And then the other 40%, get other stuff if you want, you know? So that just in case, maybe, <clears throat> some of these cryptos take off at different times, which they will, that's the distraction, okay? With, if you want to make some quick money, what I would recommend, now, my name's Crypto Hawk. I'm not a financial advisor, not a crypto advisor. Do not do anything I say on the show. Don't, all right? <clears throat> now, if you want to... You can do the 20, 20, 20. Okay, so you got your three cryptos, the three X cryptos at 60%. You want to go 70, but, you know, 60, 70%, whatever. Now, it depends on how much money you got. <clears throat> if you only got $1,000, then fuck it. Just drop it all into XRP, okay? But I'm talking about people that might have five grand, 10 grand, or something like that, or 20, 30, 40. I know people that have like a million dollars in crypto. So it's kind of like, oof. Um, <clears throat> and I talk to sometimes these people and I tell them, Hey, sell off like 200 grand and just get some gold, man. Like what the hell? <clears throat> these people got like a million XRP, 700,000 stellar, 
you know, 500,000 XDC and shit and then other ones. And I'm like, how much gold you got? Well, how much physical gold, like, are you holding in your hand right now? And they're like, uh, none. I'm like, oh, they got, but they got paper gold, like little cards or some shit or, I don't know, just how much <coughs> physical gold? And they're like, none. I'm like, okay, <clears throat> put at least 20% of what you got into physical gold. Of all, because they got a lot of, you know, people that got like a million bucks in crypto, <clears throat> they can take 20% and put it into gold. Um, mine right now, 10, I'm 10% 10 crypto, 90% gold. So, I'm I'm the complete opposite <clears throat> of a lot of people. For every one dollar I have in crypto, <clears throat> I got probably ten percent, maybe eight percent in gold. Um, eight percent crypto, ninety-two percent gold, like that. Totally flip flop. You'd think that I'd have. Let's say if I had 10,000 bucks uh, in crypto, let's say, you'd think I'd have crypto, like 1,000 gold. But no, mine's the other flipped around. <clears throat> let's say if I had 10,000 bucks, I'd put 1,000 into crypto and then 9,000 into gold. But that's just how I'm setting up. If there's something bad were to happen in crypto, like, look, the amount of crypto I got, if I'm not rich, then something's very fucking wrong. <coughs> so the crypto's got to go, XRP's got to go a thousand bucks at least, up to 10 grand minimum. Like, these are things that I'm thinking. Now, if it doesn't do that, I'm not going to keep dumping all my money into crypto. It's either going to go or it's not. So for me, the way what I've done is for every... One dollar in crypto, I got nine dollars in gold. <clears throat> because if I truly believe that that XRP is going to hit a thousand bucks, then I'm set. If it goes to ten thousand, I'm overly set. So what the hell do I need to keep buying more and more and more and more and more crypto for? I don't. If it's going to do what I think it's going to do, that's why I put one dollar in crypto for nine dollars in gold. That's my ratio, pretty much right now. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> if there was like a super hack or something, <clears throat> I'm not affected. Nick Kerrigan, he works for Swift. Nick Kerrigan's head of innovation at Swift confirmed that a new CBDC currency is on the cards. Therefore, the next two years could put the Western financial system on the course of recovery. <clears throat> in a de-dollarized world, in two years, trades in the SWIFT system could be settled in CBDC currencies, giving BRICS a reality check. I'm telling you, BRICS is going to get their nuts kicked in. The payment system is now being fine-tuned on the heels of BRICS planning to launch a new currency. <clears throat> Don't feel too proud. You're going to get chopped off at the knees with SWIFT. Apart from SWIFT, nearly 90% of the world's central banks are exploring CBDCs. And a few of them have started pilot runs. <coughs> CBDCs could usher the world <coughs> into a new financial era. And the West wants to be ahead of BRICS in this segment. And there you have it with that. Um, <clears throat> Kerrigan, the guy that works for Swift, confirmed that Swift CBDC started a six-month test that included a 38-member <clears throat> a 38-member group of central banks, commercial banks, and settlement platforms. 38 members. <clears throat> he said that it is the largest. Listen to this. SWIFT has the largest global collaboration for CBDCs and tokenized assets to date. <clears throat> 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 <clears thro
if the pace, listen to this, if the pace continues, Swift's CBDC could be launched before the BRICS currency. Are you hearing this? People out there all, BRICS are taking over. No, they're not. No, they're not. It's, it's truly sad. <clears throat> it's that feeling where when your parents tell you there is no Santa Claus. That's how the BRICS people are going to feel. Brazil, Russia, India, China. They're trying so desperately. <clears throat> but it's not going to happen. It's going to be like the tooth fairy's not real. I remember I would put my tooth under the pillow and I'd wake up and there'd be money there. I'd be like, Mommy, the tooth fairy gave me money. That's how the BRICS are going to feel. <clears throat> Swift's coming out. With their CBDC, they will beat BRICS, and BRICS will be no more. They'll be done. <clears throat> That's what he's saying here. It could be faster. It could be launched much before the BRICS. So there you have it. We are looking at a roadmap to launch in the next 12 to 24 months. <clears throat> Guess what? So they've got commercial banks involved, settlement platforms. They've got tokenized assets, everybody. What do we need to be rich? Global tokenization of real world assets. We need the two things. Global crypto regulations and global tokenization. Look what SWIFT is doing. They're testing CBDCs now with 38 members. It's the biggest test done so far ever. <clears throat> They're telling us they are probably going to beat BRICS coming up with a CBDC. I didn't even know Swift had a CBDC. See what I mean? This stuff's going to come out of nowhere. And for all that we know, remember they talk about the de-dollarization. Here's That's weird. An ad just played. <clears throat> so that'll be the end of that article. <clears throat> the BRICS dream of de-dollarization could become more challenging if the SWIFT CBDC becomes the common payment, the common payment method. <clears throat> BRICS, it, it's not going to be BRICS. And for those people that live in those countries or I'm sorry, but you've lost, okay? That's just how it goes. Let me show you some evidence. Now let's talk about BRICS. <clears throat> Let me tell you something. BRICS, Brazil, Russia, India, China and stuff, this is all Ripple. Let me show you here. See, BRICS people don't know. But I'm going to show you right now. Brazil, Ripple Partner. <coughs> no other channel has this, new people. Brand new people on memberships, new to the channel, you're going to see right here. Look what we got. Let me do a copy and a paste on my community page. Go to my Crypto Hulk community page to see these if they don't come up. There it is right there. <clears throat> what I'm showing you, no other channel on the internet has, okay? These other people are supposed to be deep divers and all this, but what, what I'm showing you is this. Meet Raphael, who just launched a Ripple Gateway in Brazil. And you can see this. This is um, 57 second mark, somewhere around there. 57 second mark. This is dated 2014. How do you know this is real? <clears throat> well, everything on Crypto Hope's real, but I'm going to help you. Take the title 
<clears throat> Meet Raphael, who just launched Ripple, Ripple Gateway in Brazil. It's still on the Ripple page. You can still go to Ripple and find this, but you don't have this guy's picture. They took it off. <clears throat> so that's how I'm showing you all my... I'm not going to always give you my sources, but I'll give you this one here. Go back. Go to Ripple's website and type... Or just go to... Yeah, you can do that or... Just do a general type on the internet. Meet Raphael, who just launched a Ripple Gateway in Brazil. Tell me what you find. This is 2014. Brazil has been working with Ripple for 10 years. That's the B in the BRICS. Next, we'll go to the R for Russia. No other channel shows you this except Crypto Hulk channel. The other channels just can't compete, you guys. For the deep dive, ain't going to happen. <clears throat> Nobody has cooler deep dives in Crypto Hulk. Let me click that one. Okay, what do we got here? This is Russia. This is proof that no other channel has a Russia's a Ripple partner. Go to the 1 minute 27 second mark. Later when the show's over, watch the whole thing. <coughs> But go to the 20, uh, 1 minute, 27 second mark. Let me do a copy and a paste. I'm going to put this on my community page as well. <coughs> so, BRICS, Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa. I already showed you Brazil. Already showed you Russia right here at the 1 minute 27 second mark. Let's look at India. B-R-I. I for India. They're Ripple partners as well. In, in this whole BRICS thing, they're Ripple partners as well. Here's India. <clears throat> I want you to go look at that article right there and read the first sentence. The biggest bank in India is a Ripple partner. How about that? It says it right there. It's not like HDFC Bank is a partner of a Ripple partner. No. What does the fucking title say, haters? HDFC Bank joins Ripple Payment Network. <clears throat> BRICS, B-R-I. Now we go to C, China. Nobody has this. Except Crypto Halt Channel, the only one on the internet. <clears throat> I made a three, a two and a half minute China video here. China's a Ripple partner. Let me show you this. You're gonna love it. You're gonna absolutely, positively. <clears throat> now, when the show's over, watch the whole little China video here. You're gonna love it. Um, it's just nonstop facts that no other channel has. Uh, go to the 22 second mark. Tell me what you see. I'm posting this now on my community page. We're going, I want you to go look at the 22 second mark. <clears throat> I'm going to show you what no other channels got. Uh, they don't got the deep dive ability that Crypto Hulk has. But you know why? <clears throat> well, actually, what's great is I take pride in my work because I'm trying to show you. I'm trying to help show you all the facts because these dumb people out there making videos and channels, they have no idea. These people are fucking amateurs, okay? What do we have here at the 22-second mark? You have something called Ripple China. And what is this? The C See the CNY right there in Ripple China? That's a crypto that Ripple made for China. It's dated in 2013. Crypto Hulk, that's 11 years ago. Yeah. Just wanted to show you. BRICS, Brazil, Ripple Partner. Um, Russia, India Partner. India, Ripple Partner. C, China, Ripple Partner. <clears throat> I don't have the South Africa one. I think four out of five is pretty dang good. It's pretty evident that all the BRICS stuff is going to be made by Ripple. Okay? But then Crypto Hulk, what about the Swift? Swift's working with Ripple. So it's all like fake Crypto Hulk? Yeah. 
<clears throat> they want you to believe this or they want you to believe that. I just showed you all the evidence. It don't matter what side you pick. If you go with Ripple, XRP, XLM, XDC and stuff, you're going to win. I'm just showing you. It's not some people say, well, Crypto Hulk, which one should I buy? Should I get it? Dude, buy them all. Buy them all equally. <clears throat> okay, you don't want to do that? Then just buy one. They're all going to be worth, you're going to be rich off whatever you do. Okay. Those three cryptos that I just mentioned are involved with everything. They all work together. It's not a compete like which one will be worth more. They work hand in hand together. Um, but if you're going to ask me, which one do you really, which one are you invest? I said, I, I just have XRP. It's all I got. I know some people that are heavy deep into XDC. <coughs> Stellar? <coughs> I don't know. But then again, you got Stellar involved in all that trade. Remember the, the global trade and shipping companies and all that? Um, I can't tell you. I, I think they're all going to be worth a lot. So that, that's my opinion. But I just showed you facts here, right, just on this bricks and all that stuff. Let me click out of these. You have enough evidence. Where are we at? 51 minutes? Oh, man. Somebody by the name of A. <clears throat> Thanks for that donation. A. Stuart Lavelle, this is like... I don't know how this guy's credit card keeps working. YouTube should have shut this dude off a while ago. You know what? Stewart's hooking up a lot of people. Brand new people do this. <coughs> Look, get whatever membership you want. Okay. Um, my next show will be a members only program. <coughs> but um, you're given a free membership. What I want you to do is go in there, get a membership for Crypto Hulk so that when the free one expires, your membership keeps going. Because here's what's going to happen. It always happens on YT. <clears throat> when your free membership ends, YT turns off the notifications, and then my show never shows up on your feed for a month or two, maybe three. And then you're like, whatever happened to Crypto Hulk guy? Then you come back on the channel and you're like, oh, Crypto Hulk, you're still on the air. And then we're all like, what are you talking about? That's what happens. So just make sure that doesn't happen. <clears throat> okay, the memberships. Stuart LaBelle. You got Mark S., Jared Wessick, Usman Rasa, PJM, Galen Radulkanov, Mike McCowan, Judah, Rich Stanway, Copper Penny Life, and Joe Pachapachapa. Okay. Those people got memberships by Stuart LaBelle. Oh, we got some people got messages blocked. Oh, Daniel. Let's have a little fun with Daniel, shall we? I think Daniel said something very bad, so now I have to make his handle go bye-bye <clears throat> and then somebody named ef where where's efx we got to do the same to him where's that little bastard at there <clears throat> oh he deleted his comment before i got to it wait no he didn't oh, i'm gonna get him right here hold on let me get to this no let's put that I got a nice little Christmas present for you. Right there. Good. Got him. Let's see who else was trying to be a tough guy. Oh, there's one. Got it. Yo, yo. Don't say terrorist stuff on Crypto Hulk channel. Now you're being reported. Have fun getting your channel back. All right. <clears throat> Nick Stevenson, it's Codius you can buy. You can't buy Codius as a platform. Actually, it's called an implementation. So it's more like a program. 
<coughs> oh, wait a second. Stuart Lavelle gave 20 memberships. Wait, did I read these wrong? I don't think I have. There's 20 right here. Gosh. <coughs> I, I don't know if I, I think I skipped this. <coughs> but I'm going to read them off right now. And if I read them off once, I'm doing it again. Stuart, if anybody's dropping all these membership stuff, this is crazy. I'm gonna <clears throat> if the person's gonna be spending this much money. Stuart Lavelle dropped 20 memberships. It's pretty serious. Uh me, M-I-I. Willie Amaskin, Saadi H, Bullish Bradley, Rachel Martinez. We got Fit Trades and Crypto, <clears throat> Hemi Kuda. Foz, 18, Ryan Persley, M.Y., Jesse M., 50 Millimeter Sam, J. Comp, the Don Sean, Elite Savior, Nathan Colaco, R. Lombrana, Eric Myers, SNR, 72, and then Robert Ashworth. Those people got memberships. Check this out, you guys. <clears throat> I'd hope that when you get this membership, go right in. Don't wait, because this, what happens is people let it expire, and then you miss the show for months. Go right into your settings, get a membership, tack it onto the free one, okay? There, there's no other channels you're going to get information like this, okay? What the other channels will do is you're going to copy the shit that I go over and put it on their show. That's what they do. You might as well just go with the best channel. And I don't give away memberships. Think about this. I've got members that give away memberships. They're paying for this. This is not, not free shit. They're paying for you to learn on this channel. I want you to see if there's any other channels like this out there. Okay? The answer, there's not. There's nothing like this. Okay. God. Okay, looks like we're burning the candle at both ends. <laughs> but Codius is dead. Stuart says, but Codius is dead, and he's laughing. That's what people say. Dumb people say that. Like, I, when I show evidence, <clears throat> some people, it, look, don't waste your time with some people. Some people, you can show them the evidence, they still won't believe it. Like, you can, right here, do this. I've talked to people about cryptos and stuff and broke stuff down, and they just just don't get it. But in the end, I want you to watch. I want you to watch. When you're rich, boy, they're going to be right there wanting you to listen to them because they've got all these problems and need the money, right? But when you were trying to teach them, they didn't want to listen. But now, all of a sudden, when they need the money, they want you to listen. I want you to see. <clears throat> Stuart Lavelle gave 10 people memberships. Outlaw Tribe 77 is one of them. Corey Newton, T. Silco, Silver Coast 465. Ryan Balsarak, <clears throat> Matthew Gonzalez, Chalky, uh, Michael Griffin, Virginia, Virginia Man, and Brad Lovelace. Those people got memberships by Stuart Lavelle. Crypto Hulk, when around do you think we'll see the big switch? I think I've kind of said over and over around spring of next year. Uh, did he just give another 10? <clears throat> I don't know if I remember reading this off. Um, my God. I'm going to read these off again because I don't remember these names. <clears throat> okay. Stuart Lavelle. I must have picked up, I don't know, 100 people. Stuart Lavelle gave 10 people memberships. <clears throat> Janice Creel. Straight Gamer 96. Crotago. Nahuel Suarez, <clears throat> Trabu Sims, 
Brad Jones, Slacky, David Johnson, Jamie Critchley, and James Anderson Jr. Those people got memberships by Stuart LaBelle. Pretty amazing. XRP Shaman says, kinda of free sovereign world. We will not have to worry about money. I believe we will all receive universal basic income monies. And to receive that, you'll have to return to your country. <clears throat> Dennis H., thanks for this donation. Dennis says, Ripple slash the United States government, which it is, lulls BRICS into the Ripple system. BRICS will conclude they cannot be separate from SWIFT, assured of no more sanctions. Right. Everything is... I mean, Ripple is like in everything. It's not a startup. Like, brand new people, like, you, you'll see. It. At first, <clears throat> at first, when I'm telling you that Ripple is the government, but it's governments. It's maybe five countries or five families that are very powerful that got control of the five countries that are forming what we call XRP, Ripple Labs, whatever it is. It's the same thing. In different countries, they, they'll have different, they'll call it different things. Um, the Ripple itself is the XRP and stuff. This all comes from like a powerful family or group of people that don't want to lose control of the entire world. That's what it is. <clears throat> and I know right now it sounds kind of crazy. And over time of watching my show, you'll be like, you know what? Ripple's not a company. This thing is huge. Um, you'll see that it's some kind of control thing where they get all the world because in the end days, this whole world's going to be controlled. It's, it moves us all into slavery. This is what it ends up being. Just the crypto hope. How does everything go from we're being rich to everything goes from great to fucked up really quick? Yeah, it does. <clears throat> so what I made Crypto Hulk show was to let people see this. I knew from the beginning this startup company is no startup. This is something much bigger than that. Okay, this Ripple thing is not some little company in San Francisco. No, 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 no. All the evidence that I've shown, <clears throat> this is something with like Ripple China and Ripple Russia. Think about this. Ripple China, I just showed you. I showed you Ripple Russia. Aren't they supposed to be our enemies? How is a little tiny little startup company supposed to do that? Do you know when Ripple China, Ripple Russia started new people? 2013, 14. The Crypto Hulk, isn't that right when Ripple started? Yeah. How, okay, now logically, time to think logically. How does a startup that starts in 2013 already have Ripple China, Ripple Russia? We can go on, Ripple Indonesia. We, I can go on with all this stuff. How, how, doesn't it take years, like 10 years or to build that? How do these people build it the same year? Unless Ripple's not just a startup. That's what the other channels fail to see. These other channels have no idea. These people have, but they're going to have, they're going to be at Ripple Las Vegas. Shake, shake your booty. And they're going to be going, go Ripple. These people have no idea. They're totally clueless. This channel show. Okay. I got to find out what the hell is going on over here. <clears throat> Oh, no, you just didn't do that. Oh, my God. We've got 50. You know, when I was talking there, I kept seeing, and I'm just like, it just kept going and going and going, and I'm like, this is not possible. Okay. Brand new people. <clears throat> what we got going on here? Is you're witnessing Swift coming out with crypto. They can, they can call it C, but it's, it's crypto. I just showed you Bricks. It's ran by Ripple and their crypto called XRP. I've shown you Ripple Russia on and on. This channel is like no other channel. The information on my channel is like nobody else. <clears throat> you're getting free memberships here. The um, cancellation rate has really kind of skyrocketed lately. I don't know why. So I'm asking you, get a membership 
tie it in. You're getting a free membership now. Go get one. It doesn't charge you until this one expires. What's going to happen, it always happens. I keep telling people and they still, your membership's going to expire. YouTube will not, not, not notify you. A month or two or three later, you come back to the channel. Oh, Crypto Hulk, you're still here. I thought you, you'd stop making shows. It always happens. <clears throat> Don't let that membership expire. Muck743 got a membership. Benjamin, Ricardo Saunders, QQ Johani, Rasmussen Anderson, Jurgen A, Rich Galore, Zara Zara777, Hi Halat, Soul Sanctuary Meditations, <clears throat> Darren Edwards, Richard McLean, Kpox3, Smelly, XRP the King, Boiler Jones, It's Moggy, Adam Watts, David Wilson, Alberto Tenetto, then you got Judah Man, Norman1978, Brandon D, Richard Yeats, Will Fix, Final Element, then you got A.N.E., Daniel Weaver, Ian Flynn, Rebecca, Van Smith, Michael Moody, <coughs> Colby, Krillian Deja, Dylan Patterson, Jason Peters. Hold on, now I just lost this. Son of Beach. Jason Peters, <coughs> Pigeon Loft East. Can't, and then 1970 Legend says, can't let Stu do it alone. Oh, my gosh, man. Uh, Chemo 62, Ozon Mert. Look at all these members. Mob, MAB 1914. <coughs> Doc, GNFT. Damn, damn the man. Oh, that's a brilliant one. Conscious Freedom. Rishaba Guy, Free Time Flip, Rob Rohit, Tony Jackson, Raphael. Then you got Jay Moreno, Moreno, Vincent Jives. Those people got memberships by 1970 legend. Um, that's about 50. You know... Members are paying for you guys to have memberships. I want new people to see that. Like, that's pretty interesting how this channel goes. The people on the show. I see influencers doing their shows prep here. Pay the freight, man. <clears throat> what happens is this. And it's fine. Look, if you're on another channel and you use my information, just show the clip. You don't have to be like, give this guy a like and a follow. You don't need to do that. But if I say, if I'm doing a video and it says, hey, there's a crypto hawk here, then put, just allow my name in the video. You don't have to kiss up. You don't have to say, hey, everybody. <clears throat> you know. Now, if, if my name doesn't come across in the video, then just say, just type in, hey, this is something I got from Crypto Hawk channel on YouTube. You don't have to say, oh, you don't have to say nothing else. Just say where you got it. Okay, I don't have a problem with that. I appreciate that. If, if I get something from uh, Twitter or whatever, I'll say I got it from Twitter. Oh, look, there's this Rath Economy guy. He says this. That's all you got to do. Something like that. Don't try to make it look like you're smart because it's going to backfire. Then you're going to look fucking stupid. So what you really need to do <clears throat> is go with the goat, the deep dive king, and just say, hey, Crypto Hulk showed this the other day. I thought it was interesting. Boom. <clears throat> your fans are going to stay your fans. People watch my show and are fans of this channel, it's because they like this channel. They don't mind however I am. They like how I am. Your fans like how you are. <clears throat> so the fans that like you won't be able to handle me. It's not going to happen. They're going to not be able to handle the channel in about sometimes the first episode or two or three, they're going to leave. And that's fine. I'm not, it doesn't matter. But just be honest about where you get your content. If it's from my channel, just drop it. Hey, Crypto Hulk, show this. <clears throat> That's it. So you don't have to worry. Oh, my fans are going to leave me and watch Crypto Hulk. They're not going to. Okay? People like certain people. That's it. Maybe I have certain news. That's great. Then they go. They stay on your show. Just go with it. Acknowledge where you get your uh, stuff. Right? 
Um, I think dagger skateboards not getting wrecked on these deep dives. No, I'm showing you all the evidence that no other channels have in hopes that you don't get wrecked. And that's just what I do. Um, try to give you guys the best information. I'm going to go. I've got to take somebody to work. But uh, <clears throat> I still got a show. I'll definitely have a PM show. I just got a lot of great stuff that I'm looking at here. Hold on. Yeah, I got a show tonight. It's going to be a members only tonight, obviously. So if you're watching the show free, I'd suggest getting a membership. <clears throat> um, so I'm going to start doing more member shows. That's just how we do it. Um, otherwise, this is Crypto Hulk, and I got to go. I'll see you later in my next broadcast.